Hi traders, both the S&P and the Nasdaq are starting very strong today, 1.3, 1.4%. So I should be looking for longs. However, I've got a very interesting gap and go formation here in NKLA, and I'm about to short, shorting now. So as you can see, started with a gap down around 2%, more than 2%, try to move higher, it's failing now, and I'm looking for it to come down under the lows. This should be a gap and go trade. The lows is 64.20, we're touching the lows right now, look at the buyers here, 64 now under, good. Let's see if we can move under 64. My risk was, up oh, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Just take a look at that. Okay, every once in a while you get a trade like that. I'm up over four grand right now. Um, my target was less than that. My target was much less than that. I was looking for 60, 70 cents and look at what I've got right now. Okay, we're going $63. We got the support of the whole number here. Watch the buyers. Huge number of buyers is 63. If we're going to come down under that, that we're going to crash and we just did. Usually you would find a lot of buyers at whole numbers. Now watch the sellers, watch the buyers. The sellers right here at 93 right now. I'm looking for any failure to buy the stock now. I'm going to cover at any sign of a failure, but look at the sellers are still coming down. Well, it just popped up a bit now. I'm taking now. Took my partial. First sign of a pullback. You watch the buyers, you watch the sellers, and look at that. Over six grand in just four minutes. What a great start for my trading session today. Great gap and go. Well, the market's still holding up. Look at the S&P, look at the Nasdaq, over 1.4% right now and holding to the highs. Look at the Nasdaq trying to move over the highs right now. And I think I've got the perfect formation here in shop. I'm about to go long over 1,045. It's very, very spready. Watch the sellers here at 1044 right now. Getting close, 45, lots of sellers buying now. It just moved over. I got it right at 45, which is great. Now, take a look at the way shop behaved. It uh, started with a gap up today and then moved up, came down, up again several times, tried to move lower and then back up again. When you see a stock moving up so many times, trying to move higher so many times, well, failing a few times, but keeps trying to move over the highs and the market as it is, I mean, the market is very strong right now. The market is coming up and holding to the highs. Now this small pullback you're seeing here, probably nothing, but I should be careful. My stop should lie some, somewhere around here. I'm risking approximately five to seven points and now we're going back up. So I was risking around three to four grand and here comes the breakout. Here comes the breakout, so beautiful. Look at it goes now. Oh, this is beautiful. I was risking approximately three to four thousand dollars. I'm going to try to get the same kind of partial that already reached my target right here. And again, I'm risking approximately 50% of my gains in my first trade, which is very, very important. If you're up, if you're doing well, you shouldn't be risking more than 50% of your first trade. Okay, it's pulling back down a bit. I think I should better take my partial. I took my partial here. You know, shop has a perfect technical formation you always go long before it moves to a new high you don't go long after it moves to a new high because that's where everybody else is buying you should be anticipating the new high and again lower your size take less risk when your first trade is doing well your second trade should be with a lower risk stay green another Another formation here, another beautiful formation here at the highs, both the S&P and the Nasdaq. And I'm looking now at another technical formation, which looks absolutely fantastic with NVIDIA. Now, if NVIDIA is going to move over right now, I'm going to go long now. Well, got it a little bit late. You see, <laughs> I was trying to buy before it moved to a new high, but I actually got it over. Look at the beautiful technical formation. NVIDIA is doing well. NVIDIA is uh, now moving to a new high. I did not yet reach my target. I did not get a good feel earlier. I was trying to buy it at 287.40, but it spiked up so quickly. I'm going to take my partial here, taking here. Well, it's my third trade today. I'm not, um, I'm trying to, you know, keep safe and um, was doing well. And right now, after my third trade, 
as you can see here I'm up $9,700 or so just 25 minutes into the trading session and again the more I succeed the lower size and the less risk I take great trading day so far well traders um, I think I'm just about done for the day let's take a look at the daily here of uh, shop um, because you need to see something a bit more than what we we've seen till now so look at what's going on here with shop beautiful beautiful uh, breakout formation here a few days ago that's a beautiful uh, bull flag formation and in the past three days it's moving higher including today so as you can see it had a, an amazing strong day yesterday which usually calls for some more momentum so the trick here is buying the momentum if you find yourself a nice intraday formation and it all starts with the intraday formation it does not start with the daily formation if you find a nice intraday formation with a stock that is moving up that much then take a look at uh, um, at the daily formation and go long I mean if it does come with a nice momentum now on the other side here let's take a look at uh, Nvidia uh, Nvidia intraday formation was beautiful as you can see it uh, started with a gap up moved up first then came down and then consolidated near the highs and I mean the, the, the intraday technical formation here in Nvidia is just fantastic well, and, and the breakout really worked out just amazingly well although I did not get a good feel look at this consolidation here and finally when it moved up over the highs it just did extremely well so you know technical analysis is all about people doing the same thing as you do it's more like a self-fulfilling prophecy you see a nice technical formation you've got the intraday traders who's going to help you buy it and certainly Nvidia did very very well because again you know the more people are watching the same technical formation the more it's going to succeed the better it's going to succeed so well I did not get a good feel but I did the right thing I was trying to buy it before it moved to a new high it's always very very important I tried I failed therefore my partial was relatively very small I've got a very small winner in Nvidia the reason I've got a very small winner is because I still need to respect the same target I had and my target was supposed to be approximately one point I took my partial at the point of my target although I did not get a good feel because you know technical formation says that's the point I should be taking my partial um, and of course if you watch the S&P 500 you can see that the S&P at the same time was at the high now take a look at the daily of Nvidia because again it's important to take a look at the daily at all times so here's the daily again a beautiful technical formation here you take a look at Nvidia moving uh, to a new high today but take a look at this consolidation that goes on for the past few weeks now who's watching this these are the core traders the investors who are watching this these guys made up their mind to go long Nvidia they don't care about the intraday they care about the daily and when you have Nvidia moving to a new high you've got the help of the core traders who are buying with you you also have the help of the intraday traders because you have a nice technical formation intraday so you know it's a combination of both if you have a nice technical formation on the intraday you know you're going to get some backwind from these guys you've got a nice technical formation on the daily you're going to get some help from the core traders you've got the S&P moving to a new high well you you're going to get some help of the institutional traders so it's all about being helped it's all about uh, uh, buying at the same time however take a look at the intraday right now it's kind of failing I mean it's coming down you can also see that the S&P is coming down just a bit but you know I don't care we don't get married to stocks we date them so we dated this one it worked out fine thank you for watching thank you for watching my video do you have what it takes to become a trader I would like to invite you to take my free trading challenge if you succeed I will fund you you will get free access to a $14,000 trading account which you can trade from home and earn 70% of the profits you generate. No risk, no cost. Just click here and join now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel here. If you have any questions, please use the comments below.